I'm Sarah Hashimaris from the Los Angeles Times Newsroom. Santa Monica College has reopened after Friday's deadly shooting on and near the campus left five people, plus the gunman, John Zawari, just shy of his 24th birthday, dead. Though a motive behind the rampage remains unclear, authorities say they are looking at family connections because Zawari's father and brother were the first victims. Reports indicate that there may have been a history of violence within the family and alleged mental issues for the gunman. Here with more is Times staff writer Andrew Blankstein. Andrew, let's start off with this alleged history of family violence. Five years apart, there were divorce papers that were filed, including in 1998, a restraining order uh, by the mother, Rhonda Abdu, against the father, uh, Samir, Samir mm -hmm. Zawari. And essentially, uh, what it shows is not only accusations of being accosted, of trying to take the children who were uh, John and Chris, who were, who were young then, as well as uh, uh, stalking type behavior. And uh, they paint a picture of, of a f violence in a family. Now, what we don't know is how this plays in to what happened on Friday. Certainly, that's one thing that authorities are looking at. And the mother, uh, Rhonda Abdu, who just returned from Lebanon, over the weekend, and so that's going to be a key component to try to piece together this timeline that will help investigators perhaps get a motive. Sure, so in addition to those alleged domestic violence threats, which were pretty heavy, um, there was uh, indications within the applications for the restraining orders that Rhonda said uh, her husband Samir had pulled a knife on her, had seen her walking with a male friend, and um, you know threatened to, to take her life. There was also um, alleged mental health issues with uh, the gunman, John. What can you tell me about that? Right, Santa Monica police aren't saying a lot about that. They're kind of... Uh, prohibited in the sense that there's uh, federal regulations about discussing uh, kind of health issues uh, in addition to possible time that uh, uh, that John uh, was dealing with law enforcement uh, had law enforcement contacts that he was a minor so they're really not talk getting into that I think as the investigation goes on however they may be uh, more likely to, to talk about some of those details the other thing is is that they're they're going to look at kind of the physical evidence as they referenced uh, last Friday you're talking about nine crime scenes five of them shooting scenes now uh, five people dead uh, not including the gunman uh, and uh, three people wounded so it's a lot to process you know not, not only the ballistics there's DNA evidence that's being done with the Santa Monica police in conjunction with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Crime Lab so you know, obviously there's a lot of people that want information uh, right away, and they're trying to keep some of that just to, again, get an understanding. And part of that involves, you know, the weapons that they were used themselves and whether they were legal or not. And do we have any indication of, of as to whether how John Zawari, the gunman, was able to even obtain these weapons? No, I mean, uh, basically that they said, the you know, authorities said today, you know, when I was calling around, were, that's something that is part of the analysis of the weapon and then is going to be discussed with, with you know, state and local federal authorities to try to trace that weapon. And so obviously the key part is you know, Chief Jacqueline Seabrook's reference at the press conference is this AR-15 type weapon. And the California assault, assault gun ban talks about specific types of weapons that it bans, but also certain t makeup of those weapons, including high capacity uh, uh, magazines for bu that hold bullets, obviously that were referenced by the the uh, Santa Monica authorities, uh, saying that there were, you know, he had as much as uh, the capability to fire 1,300 shots. There were also handguns and other uh, weapons that have to be uh, analyzed. So it's going to be a tall order, and but people want answers uh, given the fact that this happened on a, a crowded campus uh, at the same time that you know the President of the United States was visiting. Thank you for the insights, Andrew. You can keep up with Andrew's coverage on the Santa Monica shootings on LATimes.com as well as on Twitter at LA Now.